In Amsterdam, water is a major part of daily life. Although some water is hard to recognize as such. Even garbage is transported by water. There is a multitude of canals and some 400 bridges, which, combined with the splendor of the flowers, make Amsterdam a pleasure to visit. The best way to see the city is to tour the vast network of canals. Seeing stately merchant homes, and centuries-old churches. We even found a sitting duck. We crossed the narrowest canal and one of the most colorful. The water is also nice to relax by. Or do some fishing or boating. The best place to see the flowers is the flower market, where there is color galore. If you arrived in Amsterdam by train at the majestic central station you could tour the city by streetcar or if you're courageous Hop on the ever popular bicycle. Of which there are many. You could, of course, Heaven forbid, walk. That way, you would see the city in greater detail.
just about the most historic spot in Amsterdam is the Dam Square with the new church next to the Royal Palace and the National Monument commemorating the Second World War. In the National Art Gallery, the Rijksmuseum, are some of the world's greatest art treasures. Rembrandt's Night Watch. Breitner's view of a canal in winter. And not to forget Vincent. Yes, we enjoyed Amsterdam. An interesting day trip takes you to Volendam, an old fishing village by the former Zuider Zee. where the swans enjoy the quiet water. Rabbits, chickens and goats are common members of the household. Fishery is still very active and eel is the main catch. The harbour is like an old Dutch painting, as are the old fishing boats. The picturesque village draws many tourists. You come to see the traditional costumes.
and spend their money in the many souvenir shops. And maybe have a cold beer in one of the old quaint cafes. The houses in Volendam are small and neat. And this one is the smallest house of them all. As you can see, godliness and cleanliness go hand in hand. And the quiet life goes on as before.